All right, look at the state of the place, right? This is the most rushed and least prepared and probably messiest review I'll ever do. But, oh God, underwear, I didn't see that, right? Okay, so I'm just back from holidays. Ah, the place is a mess, <laughs> bear with. So this is an unboxing. Oh, this is probably the weirdest unboxing ever. This is an unboxing of hiking boots, Ferrata 2 GTX in color black, orange, uh, handwag or handbag, handbag, Ferrata 2 GTX. I ordered a size eight and a half. Now, there's a little backstory here, which is I actually ordered these last late August, early September, they arrived. Um, and I ordered them alongside my Hoka Kaha see previous see previous um unboxing and review and updated review of those now i bought these as my winter hiking boot but i was so besotted and in love with my hoka kaha that they really were absolutely fine for the purpose and all through the winter so these have not been opened other than i did try them on at the time and was like yeah okay i'll keep those they'll do for the winter hopefully because they're expensive i think they retail at something around 300 pounds up to rrp um i think if i recall i paid around 175 to 180 pounds for them it's not like me to buy something and not wear it pretty much straight away so this is really weird for me however like i said it was because i fell in love with the um hoka kaha too so it is a lovely beautiful summer's day outside and these are a winter's boot and I understand that they are generally for Ferrata terrain so um but on the terrain that I walk on is so mixed sometimes it's hiking up rock fronts sometimes it's scrambling sometimes it's walking on gravel occasionally it's walking on grass often it's walking over um, marshes in moorland it's so mixed that I just thought really it would be a good investment to have a pair of these especially for the winter when I'm climbing up the likes of a frozen sleeve donard um yeah because this would be an appropriate boot for that so let me see I'm gonna have to get in closer aren't I honestly this is a little bit yeah <laughs> unusual okay so here we go so this is them handbag I love the look of them I just I guess at this stage since I now cannot return them I'm really just effing praying that they are a really comfortable fit but then that's the thing anyway you buy a walking but you go walking in it and then half times you really can't return it because you know you've walked in it and that's how you established it was uncomfortable walking around the living room really doesn't do adequate testing does it and um, they are super padded on the inside here where I'm squeezing so that's good the tongue is like forms like a sock so I'm looking forward to that from a waterproof depth level uh, they have a Gore-Tex Gore Vibram Gore-Tex waterproof liner and a Vibram sole those cleats look really very impressive deep tread as I call it um, yeah that's your colorway which I think is pretty cool I almost always buy men's boots trainers shoes everything footwear because I am just shy of six foot about 5'11 give or take and I'm a broad build anyway and well I am what I am so yeah so and I've broad feet so always require a broad toolbox I did a lot of research about these and um, having a good broad toe box so I'm really hoping that that suits like I said I did very swiftly try one on when they arrived back in September and I was like yeah okay I'll get testing those in the winter um yeah so I can't say much about them other than they've got the kind of a look of a climbing shoe I would climb uh as well and that's exactly what that reminds me of so I'm really hoping that that gives me some good grip and it's a really solid toe like really solid you can understand why they're sort of in the ferrata category so other than that showing you the look of them and the anticipated comfort and uh, excuse the mess behind me yeah like i said i'm just home hence the something of a town yeah so we'll just see how they go i'm gonna give them a wee go today i'm not going too far it's a saturday the morns tend to need feckin' traffic lights on a saturday on a good day so, and that just winds me up because I'm an introvert and I, don't, I like mountains to myself and I make no uh, bones about it. So, yeah, so we will see, but I am looking forward to trying those today. 
like I said I wore I bought an eight and a half I didn't actually say that and I wear an eight so we will see okay fingers crossed okay and so continues my review today of the handbag via Ferrada 2 GTX boots this is very mixed terrain I'm on and there's a few pros and a few cons I can already see first of all in my experience of Via Ferrata terrain, um, which is only once, but I've done a lot of research, um, I can see that you generally do need to still walk something of a distance or some way to get to your Ferrata terrain. So if you're on the side of a rock face or whatever. And it's that where I'm not sure about the versatility of this boot, in that on a regular hill like I'm on now, or on a flat, they slip because the sole is so solid, there's pros to that, but it's so solid and inflexible that as you lift your heel to walk a normal, either on a gradient or on a flat, the boot won't flex up with you. So there's no bend at the kind of arch of the foot area. There's no flexibility there, which means that the boot gets left behind. So I've stopped and I have tightened the laces which was okay at the time, but now I'm on a gradient of maybe, I don't know, 30 degrees, 20 degrees, and I'm still finding, I'll have to adjust the laces again, maybe I'll find that sweet spot. Um, however, there's a really good pro, which is when you are climbing on sort of rocks and boulders, because of the solidity of the sole, you kind of get extra leverage up near the toe, so where a normal walking boot might flex, like we said, across the arch of the foot and you don't have that in this boot, it means that you get sort of an extra lift at the toe and you gain some extra height, just an inch or so, you know, the gap between the ball of your foot and your toe, basically. So it actually helps to lever you up and again, because it's so firm, it's really good on the boulders. Comfort wise, comfort wise, the shoe, the boot itself, inner, is very comfortable. The toe box is good for me, as I've mentioned, my broad feet. So from that point of view, full marks. But like I said, I'm gonna have to adjust. I've got a big bouldery section after this hill finishes. Um, so I'll uh, adjust before I start that and see how I am when I get to the top of it. Um, yes, and I will keep you updated. So just before I completely forget, I tried out my Hanwag, Hanwag, um, Via Ferrata 2 GTX boots today um, and I've come home with blisters. Now, the thing is this, I am willing to, well, I'm kind of stuck with them anyway, but I'm also willing to give these boots another go and still give them kind of fairly positive reviews because they're generally they're very comfortable they're very supportive I did actually fall I almost fell and um, the support in the ankle really sort of saved me um, so it meant I didn't have any pain so that was wonderful um, didn't actually hit the ground but it was one of those uh, uh, stuttery jumping down off a rock type thing um, yeah but I have come home with blisters and there was so much movement that I definitely haven't got the lacing um, set ideally so I was adjusting the laces on each foot maybe five or six different adjustments through my walk today and my walk was over very mixed terrain the boots were fantastic on the boulder field um, and anything where I was kind of climbing or scrambling which obviously is what they're designed for and they were fabulous for that and much less satisfactory in their versatility in that they really are just really great for that but not for the ascent up to that or the descent back down again so I had some blisters forming on my heels on one direction on the way up with the friction and then um on the way down I could feel my baby toe on both feet it was absolutely in agony I was really glad of my cold water dip at the bottom just to soothe my feet and in fact when I put my boots back on again after my sort of swim dip soothe um, it was agony just to walk back to the car park so I'm kind of bummed because um, well I couldn't have returned them after that sort of a hike anyway I've walked you know up to the laces in friggin sheep shite and everything so um, streams, water, marsh, crossed rivers, over boulder fields, down 
everything, you name it today. So they've had a really good test, but they've come back with blisters. So I will give them another go and I will update this review as and when appropriate.